In this video, we will demonstrate how to compute the mass flow rate through the exhaust port of an internal combustion engine converged data set. To do this, we will need to place and extract a slice in the exhaust port. First, right-click and hide the piston zone so that we can see the bottom of the valve. Then, toggle on slices and change the slice location to arbitrary. Using the three-point probe tool, we can define the initial orientation of the arbitrary slice and use the slice placement tool to adjust it as needed. Toggle on translucency so that we can see the interior more clearly. The orientation and location of the slice will have an effect on the integration result. To isolate a single exhaust port, we will use value blanking under plot, blanking, value blanking. In this example, we will blank any values where x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is less than or equal to 0. To extract the slice over all time steps in our dataset, select Data, Extract, Extract Slices Over Time. This will prompt TechPlot360 to automatically step through each time step and extract the slice to a new zone at each time step. Slice extraction requires loading of data at each time step. As such, the speed of this operation will depend on the size of your data, number of time steps, and the speed of your disk access. After the slice has been extracted to new zones, we are ready to calculate the mass flow rate. First, under Analyze Fluid Properties, we need to specify the gas constant for air at 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Then, we need to define our convective and state variables under Analyze field variables. Then select Analyze Perform Integration to perform the calculation. Change the type of integration to mass flow rate and the domain of integration to integrate by time strands for the last time strand in our dataset, which is for the recently extracted slices. For a line plot to be generated for the results, toggle on Plot Results As. This concludes the tutorial on calculating the mass flow rate. Thank you for watching.